Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 21st, uh, 31st, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Etoro where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the S&P 500 and Overall, for the indices in the U.S. today, they have been fairly negative. So we are down roughly half a percent. We are getting we are getting fairly close to uh, to the 20 exponential right here at the 3,923, and uh, that should offer quite a lot of support. And so will the 50 moving average down here at 3,884. If the 50 breaks, then we can go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band, and that is probably as far as this will go at this current stage. 4,000, we have not gotten to that point right at this point, uh, but that is basically the target. But we could see pullbacks before going towards 4,000. Technical gears, they are still fairly bullish, but they are turning around. MACD is bullish, Darkastic is bullish, CCI is still in bullish territory, but just turning around, and then the RSI is turning around and heading, is, yeah, it is basically changing direction and becoming bearish at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20 or the 50 or all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band, that is fairly optimistic. Probably we won't drop further than the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average before rallying higher. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones as well had a pullback a little bit. It's not a massive pullback, but uh, we most likely will head towards the 20 exponential down there at the 32,500, give or take, before um, going back towards the upside towards uh, the target of 33,500. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. They're still in uh, bullish territory, but they are uh, turning around. It has basically uh, rallied towards the top of the bullish band, broke it down to the middle, and then rallied again. And that has that's basically the way the Dow Jones has been behaving in the last few weeks. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq is still struggling. We are down zero point eighty percent at this current stage. We was down one point one percent. Uh, but we have seen basically a pullback here at the end of the U.S. session. And, uh, well, we're just just hanging around in the same area. At the middle of the bullish band and the 50 moving average, we're just uh, struggling. Um, doesn't really know where to go. It will most likely eventually uh, rally towards the 40,000. That is um, probably what is going to happen here. We may retested the bottom here of the bullish band which also is the previous bottom here so we'll get a bottom a double bottom and then uh, go to the upside it doesn't look like we're going to have a significant breakdown but there are massive warning signs so uh, us yields are on the rise and are yeah basically up three percent today and that will basically make havoc on, on stocks and indices and so on so better pay attention to that. If that continues, then we may see um, a further decrease in most of these stocks that are, well, significantly overvalued at this current stage. Just go and look at their PE ratios. They are absolutely enormous. They are actually higher than they were back in the uh, dot-com bubble. So, so not saying that we're going to have a bubble, but we could say see a significant pullback sometimes um in 2021 that is possible that's not far-fetched but at this current stage we are stabilized in this area here we could actually write it up like this the bottom give or take 12,700, and then the highs of this point give or take just about the 50 moving average at 3 uh, 13,263. So this is where we are been trading at the moment. We are basically at the lower end of this really small range. And uh, yes, it doesn't really know what to do, uh, where to go at this current stage. Technical indicators, they are not a lot of help either. The RSI is fairly bearish. The CCI is still above zero, but it's becoming uh, going into negative territories and becoming bearish. And the stochastic is bearish and the MACD is basically flat at this point, but it is in negative territory. So 
if we were to break below the bottom of the building panel here, then we have the 200 moving average. That would be an enormous amount of buying probably occurring around this area. That is exactly at 12,000 at this point. If we break above the 50 moving average and start trending about trading above that, then it is uh, probably going to go towards 14,000 and probably 15,000 in the long run. So. At the moment, very un a lot of uncertainty where we're basically going. There are some uh, specific, uh, fairly sp uh, specific stocks that are getting absolutely hammered and have been hammered the last three weeks, and then especially the EV uh, market, for example, Tesla and Neon. So Neon has lost nearly, roughly fifty percent the last uh, um, last few few weeks, and the Tesla has also lost a massive amount of its uh, of its value. So let's look at the German DAX. So the German DAX is, is performing really well. So we have been rallying and bouncing off the 20 exponential now for the last, uh, well, basically the, this entire month. So compared to the US indices like the NASDAQ, then the DAX has been outperforming it significantly at this current stage. So pullback is kind of expected at this moment and uh, there shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. We are approaching 15,000 pullbacks towards a, a give or take 14,500 or 600. That is most likely where buyers will come back in and, and buy and uh, set a target of roughly 15,500 or 16,000. So it is, yes, bouncing off the 50 moving average, bouncing up to 20, that is how the DAX has been behaving for the last few months. Technically, they are all bullish at this point, but we are getting really overstretched here to the top of the bullish band, and also we are overbought at 75 in the RSI. So let's look at a UK 100. So UK 100 was basically all over the place today. We fell all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band and then rallied above these previous highs to 6,787, and then we stopped at 6,769. Technical indicators, they are technically favoring the upside at this point. So we are in a, a gradual increase. It's not a massive rally, but we're slowly going higher in the UK 100. So if we manage to take out, for example, these previous sides, give or take at 6,800, then we could go and test 6,924, uh, 6, which was this spike that we saw um, basically in the beginning of 2020. 21. And after that, we have a long way to go to get back to where we were prior to the, uh, the coronavirus. So we the all them highs here were basically at 7,683, and we're trading at 6,769 at this current stage. But it is a gradual grind. It is um, fairly um, finding quite a lot of support at the 50 minute average at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50, it will most likely be bought into. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to follow us over at eToro and also you're welcome to copy our trades. Good luck and thank you very much.